snap that is on now one second hope you're having a fantastic day just need to finish this up and we can start our show today right there we go just been busy creating some content and putting things together okay oh it looks like it's two o'clock already God, jeez, things creep up on you, don't they? My name is Prosper Taruinga. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about building customer relationships. I hope everybody's doing all right, by the way. And um, yeah, so for the next 30 minutes, I think we're going to try and put together a show <laughs> where we're going to talk about how you literally can actually earn a lot more money while doing less and struggling a whole lot less than you are doing right at this moment. And you can actually start getting a lot more recognition within your industry and do what you actually love doing at the moment. All right. So if I can just gather five seconds to put my head around what we actually doing now that would benefit everyone so we're talking about the keys to actually build customer relationships and how to actually leverage those so that you can be do and have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable i don't know if you're actually um following some of my posts i put out a post uh, yesterday when we were talking about um, when I was asking people, if you were to be a partner um, with me or do stuff with me, what is it that you would bring to the table? And um, there was a few responses here and there, some interesting, some people thought they were funny, but I was actually really trying to gather information and really see where my audience is and who amongst my audience is actually uh, doing stuff or some people are just really playing with themselves. Now, Erica says, hello, dear Prosper. Nice to be here to see you. Six o'clock in the morning in Sweden. Looking forward to this show. Thank you so much. Yeah, it just crept up on me and I'm sorry we are like two minutes late into the show. And like I said, if this is your first time watching this, my name is Prosper Taruinga. I um, am the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital, where we help online business people like yourself to actually earn a lot more money um, with less struggle using digital marketing uh, tricks and tips. All right. So this Lunch and Learn is a 30 minute uh, segment that we dive into things that are real stuff that can actually implement right here, right now, so that you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay. So today I was diving onto uh, the post that I did yesterday and talking about partnerships and how they are the holy grail to actually making real money on the internet all right so you know the the bigger you start um you know unveiling this whole onion called the internet the more you realize that most of the work is done by handshakes than by likes okay most of the real money is done in person most of the real money is made face to face when you see people mano y mano, okay? I don't know if you've seen maybe a glimpse of how it all works out when people go and present their ideas to venture capitalists. I think there's uh, shows on TV like Shark Tank or there's like investor, um, you know, hubs or there's like, um, you know, all those incubator places where you go in you, in, you you talk to people that connect you to other people that can help you bring your product or your services to fruition right those are interactions that you have to have a handshake with somebody um you know um exchange of real words and you gotta show up okay so it is an experience in its own right and most of you guys may not relate to what i'm talking about because you're probably in the newbie phase of entrepreneurship all right where you're just really trying to figure out how systems work really trying to figure out how click funnels work really trying to figure out how facebook ads work really trying to figure out how to create a website etc etc that's the newbie phase which quite 99% of the people that are on Facebook right now as entrepreneurs, that's sort of the phase they're hanging around. And then there's a second phase where you now get people that have sort of gotten a grasp 
of their message. They're still trying to figure out their market and they're still trying to figure out, you know, um, the media that they're prevalent on. But they're still really busy to connect with the actual clients. And I call those the busy bees, all right? You can tell a busy bee by, you know, the way they relate to other people when they come within their domain. They don't quite, you know, know how to bring people in and actually create and relate giving people a solution that they actually want. That's a busy bee. They want to be heard and they want to report back what they automatically know, all right? Now, then there comes people that I want to term people that are in the prosperity circle. Now, people that are in the prosperity circle, they network, they go to lunch with other entrepreneurs that are already creating money on Facebook or on whatever channels we're doing. They don't do a lot of the work. They outsource most of their work. They get other people to do the heavy lifting while they're out there creating and connecting with other entrepreneurs so that they expand their influence, they expand their audiences, etc., etc. Okay? Now, that's the prosperity sort of circle that a lot of us will probably never get to enjoy um, and, and a lot of us would never probably get to elevate to, okay? Just like not everyone can be a doctor, not everybody can jump onto the 1% of, you know, actual money that happens on the internet, right? But no matter what stage you are, maybe you're a newbie or you're a busy bee or you're in the prosperity circle, all of those stages, you still got to connect with people. You still got to shake some hands and you still got to kiss some babies. All right. Never underestimate the value or the reach or the impact that you can have on someone by talking to them, by them listening to you or them giving you their, their attention. Never underestimate that. All right. And Especially the lot of people that are in my audience that are still in the newbie phase, even if you're an experienced newbie, if you're not servicing plus or minus more than 14 clients, I put 14 because it's just another figure that obviously a lot of us haven't reached yet. I want to show you a few things that you can do to tweak what you're doing right now so that you can actually work a little bit less and enhance the relationships that you actually do have. We all know, guys, it's not easy and it's not simple to actually show up the way I do every single day. You know why? Because work has to be done. Funnels have to be built. Um, you know, clients have to be serviced. But if you haven't organized your business and your framework and your work in order for you to actually do things that put you in front of the people that could pay you money in the future, then I think you're missing out on the boat. All right? Because at the end of the day, people need to see your stuff at least eight times before they even interact with either your product, either interact with your ads, or either interact with anything that you've got to offer, all right? So every single time, you've got to be intentional about how people are perceiving you, who you're reaching, and how many times that effect is happening so that by the time you do put out an offer, you get so much of a return of investment, okay? So, Never underestimate the value and the reach of a loyal and a repeat customer. You want to keep customers coming back for more and they can bring in their friends with them. And these things that I'm going to talk about in this video are what are going to separate you from the new bee and um, busy bees that are really trying out there and making a lot of noise on the internet to the prosperity circle where all you got to do is pick up a phone, send an email, and somebody publishes your work to hundreds and thousands of people, all for the for the sake of them knowing you, okay? Trish, how are you doing, my love? Two more days before we catch up, all right? So I'm, I'm really excited about that. I want to talk about how you can actually create better customer relationships, better investor relationships, better networks with people that also have a stronghold of the clients that you're looking for, all right? I will show you a little bit of an example of what's actually happening in the market right now. I've got a real estate um, client that, um, you know, works with maybe uh, three to maybe $5 million homes within Australia. Okay, so this is what 
I have organized him and another strategic partner that I will be talking about who is a dentist, all right? So the real estate guy is always trying to advertise to people, but not everyone buys a $3 million house every single day. You've got to nurture those leads. You've got to let them know who you are. You've got to let them trust you. And you've got to let them know that you are the person that can provide them with the solution which they want, which is that $3 million house, okay? So I have partnered him with a doctor, I mean, with a dentist guy who is now offering... Whenever somebody buys a house from the real estate guy, the dentist now offers a free dental checkup. Guess what? A person who can afford a $3 million house would want to look good in that house. So what's going to happen? Eventually in the future, that person is probably going to want cosmetic surgery done to their teeth. And that's how the dentist is going to make money. But if the dentist had not connected with either me or the real estate agent, are they going to get those clients? Because then that's a warm lead. Right, he's not going to be throwing out ads that are just going and being, um, what do you call it? And they're, and, and they're just falling on deaf ears because nobody's going to want to hear about, um, you know, dental surgery at, at first sight. Nobody's going to want to hear about a three million dollar home. But while you're sitting there at the dentist chair, you see maybe a brochure or you see maybe um, an ad on the dentist television because they are now in connection about that $3 million home. Is that not a warm transfer because of the connection and the relationship those two people have prior? All right. So that's exactly what I'm really trying to put across here, guys, that you really need to start collaborating with those people that are doing something in and around your periphery because those people are already taking money from your customers. All right. All this spraying and praying that we're doing, um, you know, trying to hook people by the. We're not going far if we are not actually connecting to the people that automatically have those people with them as well. All right. Um, I remember, you know, um, uh, you know, yesterday I was uh, playing with my little girl. If you watch my Facebook stories, you will see she hangs out in the office once in a while. Um, and she was uh, she was using my iPad to watch Peppa Pig. All right. She watches it once in a while and she enjoys it. But she's two years old. All right. She doesn't she hardly says a word except daddy, mommy, food, whatever it is. And she really, really. Um, enjoys watching this show. I don't know what it is about it. But guess what she now does? She has learned to skip ads. All right? Naturally, <laughs> naturally, I wake up every single day just to see if somebody hasn't created anything that can take my job away. All right? So my job can be taken away by a uh, an app. My job can be taken away by an SAS service. My job can be taken away by some blog or some person, all right, or some sort of service that people can just plug and play, and then they don't need to work with me anymore, all right? And now, my job is now being taken away by my own daughter, because she now skips ads. So if you're putting ads out there, people already have ad fatigue from a younger age. People no longer want to see those ads. You gotta go in, connect, and actually relate to those people. Because nobody is seeing those ads. And guess what? Facebook will tell you that, okay, yes, we showed these people these ads. But what proof have you got that people are actually seeing those ads? Right now, you're watching this video right now for the last five minutes in your news feed there's probably three or five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten ads that are going in there have you seen them have you you haven't but that person is being charged for an impression so now we really need to figure out are we actually doing enough so that when these customers come in, they have something that we can relate with them, create for them, etc., etc. It costs a whole lot more money to reach out to new customers than to retain the ones that we already have. So that's the reason why I want to talk about either it's partnerships or just really building concrete relationships with your investors, with people that are paying you money, with people that are, you know, going to be putting you in, in front of other um, audiences that you cannot do on your own. What we're doing right now is look at me, look at me, look at me. Um, yeah, I'm awesome. This is me. Jump onto my group. Fine. 
You might have two or three people that do that. But as we all know, if somebody recommends a person to you, if you are recommended a product or if you are recommended a software, you will definitely follow through. So can you imagine if you have 10, 15 other people that are also clamoring your name, clamoring your show, sharing your stuff and letting people know to their audiences that they are. Can you imagine how much of an impact you will be making every single day when you wake up, there's 10 other people that are talking about your brand without you even, you know, putting it through. So then you stop becoming a newbie or that busy bee. You become that person in the prosperity circle that is actually working in unison with other people that have audiences that you can also tap into. But you don't just, it doesn't just happen. You've got to create an environment that when people do come in, they really want to stay in and create and relate with the people that they meet along the way. So that's where pretty much building these relationships will then now start giving and perpetuating and really, really making it one, you know, unified body so that we are not fighting for these customers. But we are actually collaborating and helping each other with a win-win situation. Whatever you do today is going to pay off tomorrow. So don't be afraid of actually reaching out to people because everyone is contactable if you've got a good enough offer on the table. That's the reason why yesterday I asked, if we were to partner, what would you bring to the table? Some people thought it was a joke. Some people thought, you know, um, you know, they just wanted to be funny. Also, it gets me to see who is really serious, who is a newbie, who is a busy bee, and who is actually doing business on there. Because yes, you might think you've got a brand, your logo, your Facebook page, etc., etc. But who are you outside your business? What relationships? Who do you know that can help somebody else get what they want? That's the value that is put in your business right now. That's the value that you bring to the market. All right. The value that you you have, the impact that you have on other people is the greatest currency that you might have. Right now, people are are, are going into groups. I've got nothing against groups. I'm a I'm, the thing about groups for me is they stop being intimate at a certain number and then it takes its own course and then it takes its own trajectory and people stop knowing the reason why they're actually in that group and they just become protective because you know what, I got here first, but you ask them, why are you here? They don't even know why they're there. All right. And, 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 and I know it's a good strategy to build your network and your tribe and things like that. But the thing about a group is most of the people that are in the group, they don't even know who the group leader is. Well, I'm just talking about myself. When I go into a group, I figure out what is about this group. And sometimes I don't even know who owns the group. Because there's always those other people that are good behind closed doors and they want to show off their feathers. But if you go beyond and see what their network looks like, it's got nothing. Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, if you really, really, really want to go from being a newbie online... And maybe cross over to become a busy bee or maybe just go straight to the prosperity circle. You got to start working on the relationships that you're actually creating with the people that you hope to serve. Because yes, you might give value to a group, but you're building on somebody else's territory. You might be giving value into into like, a, you know, a network or something like that. But you're giving value to somebody else's territory, making them look good. And when somebody comes over to your profile, they've got nothing. All right, so you really want to start considering, do I all consistently want to be staying in the newbie phase? Because it hurts being in the newbie and you can see people that are struggling and you're like, dude, I can help you, but I can't. What can you, what's in it for me? That's what customers are looking at as well. They're thinking, what will I get if I go to this person who doesn't show or doesn't seem to be able to contain other people that he's working with? You know, you see, the thing is, I, I, I hear, I think this is something that is said a lot, that you are judged upon the way you treat other people or something like that. Do you know what I mean? The, the way you treat another human being is, is, is the best value that, uh, or the, the best perception that people have of you. 
let's say you're sitting around on a date with with this hot uh, partner of your your yours uh, whichever sex you are right now the opposite of that and you're sitting with this amazing person they're gorgeous and and all you're doing is just maybe drinking from their feet I don't know you're praising the um, the, the the ground that they they, they stand on and 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 you know they they stand up you you pull their chair in all those nice things of chivalry etc etc okay and then when the waiter comes in and then maybe comes in with the wrong order you yell at the yell at, at the waiter that is exactly who you are because you're trying to impress these other people that are in front of you to make it look like this is what you are but that's not who you are you are the person that just yelled at the waiter and that's the impression that you're leaving at people so if you're not creating and relating to the people you really want to work with I think it's about time to actually look at what your priorities are do you want to business or do you just want to be a one-click wonder people are looking for places to belong all right, people, um, you, you customers and prospects are looking for people with solutions. Are you married to your brand or are you just hooking up with your brand and doing it whenever it feels convenient? Because people can tell. You know, every single time I ask a question on my profile there, of course, I mean, I'm human. I've got a really good funny side. I joke a lot. Although whenever when 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 I tried to go and 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 try stand up comedy they all laughed at me so I walked away. But what I'm trying to say is are you actually showing who you are? Are you trying to create those relationships? Are you making it easy for people to know who you are, what your message is and what your ma market is? Francesco, I know what you're trying to do there. You're trying to get me on the spot. Okay, what story are you looking for? I was born in Zimbabwe, came to Australia six years ago, was working in a restaurant and after working in a restaurant, the restaurant owner did not know how to social media so I got the job. Eventually I just started growing up and I took mentors, I'm, I'm a big student of Frank Kern, I'm a big student of Brent, Brendan Bashard. What else do you want to know Francesco? Alright and now I've started a business that's um, grossing plus or minus six figures every 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 quarter i'm happy with it i outsource most of the work all right francesco says i love your energy and care for other people i strive for that every day you gotta start working on it and the, the only way the only thing that um steven says wants to be a winner don't want to be mediocre exactly Nobody likes mediocrity, guys. You really gotta, you really, really, really gotta be intentional about how you want people to perceive you. Who are you outside your business? Hmm? Who are you outside your business? Can your customers actually talk about you at a barbecue? Can your customers talk about you at a, at a, at a in another Facebook group? Can people recommend you to be the person to do the job? Of course, you might have ads out there, but people are not seeing them. The networks that you have, are you fostering that so that people can know who you are, what you do for them, etc., etc.? A lot of entrepreneurs are going to die in the newbie phase. You know why? Because people don't know what they actually do. The reason you're watching this show is because you know I can teach you in 30 minutes how to actually earn more money and how to have less struggle having a business that's actually profitable and you enjoy working in it. I'm about my lifestyle, all right? At uh, the beginning of the year, I went around Australia. Um, I was meeting all the strategic partners that I have within Australia. And yeah, I went into every town. I had lunch. I had drinks with people. And I strengthened the relationships with them. All right, I'm not saying anyone can do that, but you know what? Because I know that the power of relationships, we, we, we might be civilized and we might be clickety-click people, swipe right, swipe left, and determine if you like this person, but this is how money is made, my friend. Handshakes, hugs, kisses. That's how the human connection, eyeballs, attention, Right now, if you notice, I'm not actually selling anything, but I want to beg you for your attention. That's all I need. That's all I need. I really want your attention. 
so that I can see and learn from you and you can learn in the process. It's a win-win partnership. Here's a virtual high five partner. High five. If you really like this video today, it was so impromptu. I was actually creating my content, but I set this up. You know why? Because I got to perform no matter come hell, come thunder, unless I'm out of the office and in the place that I am, I can't even whoop out my phone, which is probably in jail or in court. And none of those is probably going to happen in a very long time. You know why? Because I'm connected. The more people you connect to, the less of a struggle you have with your life and everything seems like it's on autopilot. You know, everything seems like it's on autopilot. I wake up, I dress like this every single morning. You know why? Because I'm talking to people, strategic partners every single day. Um, in the morning, I've already done two podcasts. All right. I've already connected with that audience, etc., etc. And my day is going. I'm connecting with you guys, my audience. Maybe you like it. Maybe you not. You don't. But this is what it is. I'm here to connect. Yeah. And she says, step out of your comfort zone, everyone, and meet people. Very, very important. And me and Trisha are going to catch up, hug and laugh it out on Friday. Because that to me is much more important than you giving me money. I'm good with cash. I'm sorted. But I want your attention. And I know in your attention, that's where the real money is. You could pay me 30 grand right now, but what I have in terms of legacy with you listening and sharing my content is, is, is invaluable. All right. So if you guys are in and around Melbourne, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm very, very lenient with coffees and stuff like that. You know why? Because in the more people that I connect with, the better it is for me to actually reach out, have a lot more impact than me showing up for 30 minutes a day. Christopher says, yes, love how you connect and value of information is great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys that's been, you know, supporting this dream of mine and making sure that my, um, you know, I'm not spraying to an empty theater, etc. I really, really appreciate that. If there's anything that I can do, who I can connect you with, please type it down in there and then let's continue this conversation. You know what? It's now social prosperity era. It's not about clickety clack funnels. It's not about likes or page likes or whatever. It's who are you connected to and what access to information, people, uh, resources do they have? Every time I see somebody going, oh, I'm an expert at this. I'm like, let's talk about how we can leverage that expertise to my audience, your audience and see where they synergies. That's exactly how business is businessed. If you are still just sitting by yourself and not reaching out to other humans and just really finding out how other guys are doing their, their stuff, you're continuously going to be a busy bee. You're continuously going to procrastinate because if you're not doing anything for other people, you don't have the passion. But if you know that you waking up, you, you're not letting your, 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 your SEO clients down, you're not letting your investors down, you're not letting your kids down, you're not letting your wife down, your partner, your husband, you go in and you do it because you know why? Your life depends on it. All right? Okay, cool stuff. All right, this show caught me while I was in the middle of fixing my content so that I can actually create real relationships with my customers. All right. This is just a freebie that I give out every single day to keep me grounded just in case I don't have anything to do. But I do realize the value that this is now giving. So if you like, can you please share this for me? Please, can you share this for me? And then as soon as we finish, all right, if you still have any questions, or any queries about how I business or who I'm connected to. And if you've got something to offer and bring to the table, I'm creating my, my Facebook profile so that it's going to be a networking hub for you, for everybody else that's in business. Because in today's competitive marketplace, right, you're going to need to do things differently. All right. If you really want to stand out from the, from the crowd, 
You're going to need a system. You're going to need connections. You're going to need a community that actually does help you leverage the little that you have and amplify it for you. All right. And this is what I think the online prosperity. I, I don't know if you've seen this. Thanks, Trish, for this, by the way. The online prosperity helps you to do this. All right. It helps you create communities. It helps you convert the people that you're talking to. And you always have something to say. You know why? Because your message is on point. You've got a media. I mean, you've got you've got a market that's ready to listen. And you've got a media to put that message out through. All right. I have designed it in such a way that it helps you in all the aspects of marketing, such as your lead generation, your social media marketing, your email marketing and other you know, forms of marketing. All right. So you can type in blueprint and I'll send you through, um, you know, this. And this is what I was talking about today. Connect how you create your own authority, you brand in the process, you create relationships, you build loyalty and you have a community of people that actually care about your stuff. Stop spraying and praying with your marketing these days. Like I told you, my two-year-old girl is actually skipping ads. In the meantime, I gotta go, guys. Thank you so much for watching this.